Hi there, this is Tara with Love Yoga, and I'm going to teach you a pose, one of my favorite poses actually, called legs up the wall or legs up the chair. And this is a yoga posture that really can help with increasing circulation, um, decreasing inflammation in the body. It relaxes your nervous system and just helps bring a sense of calm within. And so also a little digestion support relieves back tension. So I'm gonna invite you to go back to the wall. And um, I like to have a pillow for underneath my back. I'm gonna start actually with legs up this bench or um, you could use an ottoman or like I said, a chair first. And then I'll show you how to get into legs up the wall. I'm just sitting on the pillow. Hip is parallel to the bench and swing my legs up, turn to the side, and then shimmy the pillow underneath my sacrum or lower back. Arms can rest by your sides, so they can come to a cactus. You could also just rest them on your belly. And then just fix your gaze on. A spot on the ceiling or close down your eyes, whatever's comfortable for you. Come into some steady inhales and exhales, making the breath just a little bit longer as you breathe in and as you breathe out. So you can stay here, or if you want to try life at the wall. Do that. I'm going to shift my pillow over to the wall. And similar, I'm going to scoop my hip up against the wall. I'm going to start to turn, bring my legs up the wall, and scoot a little closer, pillows underneath the lower back. I'm going to start to Close down the eyes, find the soft gaze. Soften the body. We'll come into a nice steady breathing pattern. So as you're breathing in and out, it may be beneficial to Inhale, the breath up to your toes. Exhale, draw the breath down your legs towards your hips. Do that a few times, inhaling the breath up to your toes. Exhaling from your toes down to your hips. And so if your feet start to tingle at all, it's a little bit normal. So as long as you don't have pain, that's just the reverse of the blood flow kind of starting to move up your legs. And if it gets uncomfortable, you can bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, pressing feet into the wall. You can stay here for a little bit. You could also bring the soles of your feet together and knees out wide, opening your hips. You bring your feet back up. You can stay here for quite a while. I usually stay for a minimum of five minutes, sometimes closer to 10. And I have stayed even up to 20 minutes before. And so there's a very strong calming effect on the body. You may even notice that you start to get a little drowsy. This is a great posture to do if you were active all day on your feet and you just want to slow down, tune in. You can even do this in your bed. So I sometimes will put my legs up my headboard and then you have a nice, soft, cushiony, landing pad for yourself.
Just coming back to your breath. Allowing yourself to meditate a little bit in this pose. As I mentioned, you can stay as long as you'd like. So usually I'll just set a timer and have it next to me for however long I'd like to stay. And when you feel ready to come out of the pose, similar to how you came into it, you just will bend the knees, roll to one side, and then press yourself up to a seated position. You may want to even shake out your legs and notice how you feel. I like to stand up. And notice how my feet feel, my legs feel, usually a little lighter. So thank you so much for joining me for Legs Up the Wall or Chair. I hope you practice this pose often and experience the benefits. Namaste.